Now then, we've talked about this next issue quite a lot and in many countries. What should women wear and who should decide? This is a conversation uh, that's come from earlier this week when Malala Yousafzai was trolled online for appearing to wear skinny jeans and Western-style clothing. An unverified picture which showed a young woman walking in Oxford was republished in Pakistani and Indian press after being widely shared on Facebook. Other stories about dress codes have been in the Pakistani media, including a woman entering university in a white T-shirt, only to be told she was a security threat, and a dress code has now appeared online. So, with the help of our partner station Power FM in Islamabad, we've been able to find out what's being said on one of the city's university campuses. Hi everyone, it's Anila from Power 99, an FM radio station based in Islamabad. We are near a university campus. It's lunchtime. There, there are a lot of guys out here having uh, their lunch and I can hardly see any woman but I'm going to try and grab some women and talk to them about what they're wearing and what they think about how women dress in Pakistan. Well my name is Aruma. What do you do Aruma? I'm doing medical. At your university you can wear whatever you like or the university imposes a, a certain dress code on you. No, well, we can wear whatever we like, but you know, they should not, the dress should be not so cheap, no weird, like that. It should be like acceptable to everyone. So when you say it should be acceptable to everyone, what do you exactly mean by that? I mean that it should be not of that much uh, high weirdness, you know, it should be a jeans, a normal top and nothing else. People have, you know, different mentality level. They should not judge you while you're dressing. So I think what you mean is if uh, girls wear sleeveless tops and uh, short skirts, that's something you th you're saying shouldn't be allowed? That should not be allowed. It's a height of cheapness, seriously. But you're okay with uh, uh, female students at your university wearing Western clothes as long as they are dressed modestly and they're not showing any skin? Of course, I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't have any concern with their personal life. So why do you think wearing a, a short skirt or uh, wearing a sleeveless top is height of cheapness? We are not babies, Seth. So, you know, this is basically the point of attraction for boys. They usually commit what is wrong when the girls dress like that. Uh, male behavior depends on how a woman dresses and of behaves? Of course, I usually believe on this. Do, do you ever wear Western clothes, Aroma? Of course I wear, I do wear. I wear tight, short shirts, not too much shorts. And and that's that's it. So what are you wearing today, Roma? Semi-Western. You know, I'm wearing tights and uh, shirt, but not too, too much short. It's Western, but semi-Western. It has a Pakistani touch and an American touch. So it's a good mix of East and West. And, and you're wearing a, a scarf as well. Yeah, of course I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muslim. My religion, you know, my religion is basically all about your respect. It's about shame. You know, you should not be so shameless while you're wearing dressing, while you're dressing yourself. If a woman shows some skin, like even if I'm wearing a sleeveless top, then uh, in your view, it's wrong. It's wrong. How much skin? You're talking about like this much skin. It's not wrong. So if, if I'm wearing half sleeves, it's not wrong. But if I'm wearing uh, a sleeveless wrong, top, then it's wrong. It's wrong. Um, my name is Myra Vais and I'm a student of Hamdad University, Islamabad campus. Studying Doctor of Pharmacy. What are you wearing today? I am wearing a baya as usual. I usually wear a baya in university uh, because in Pakistan, it is more appropriate to wear a baya and it is comfortable as well. It is appropriate to wear. Okay. Uh, and what do you think about the way women dress in Pakistan generally? Generally, as uh, they have the, uh, their rights to wear whatever they want, uh, but uh, we are living in a community that uh, if we are wearing some jeans, uh, uh, then people see us with uh, weird eyes, and I don't like that type of eyes on me. That's why I'm preferring abaya over it. Myra, do you always wear uh, an abaya and a hijab or uh, only when you are at university or out and about? Uh, when I am out, I prefer abaya. But uh, when I am on going on the functions, I will wear a dress that is appropriate with that function or that event. When you are out and about, do you face any problems with the men, the way they 
kind of you know look at you or uh, you think the your abaya and your hijab protects you from men staring at you or causing a problem for you no i don't think so because it is for our own satisfaction the way uh, you see others is uh, that you, how you are brought up with by your family this abaya is protecting us from the, uh, their staring eyes i don't think so i am from a family so i prefer uh, that uh, i should wear abaya when i'm outside kinza what are you wearing today i am wearing a jean shirt <laughs> with the dupatta also <laughs> you're wearing a nice scarf today but do you wear hijab yes uh, i wear uh, and abaya yes okay so chin so how do you decide today you are going to wear uh jeans and t-shirt and the other day you are going to wear an abaya and a hijab how do you decide that in university you can also wear western clothes when do you wear an abaya and a hijab rural countries mein rural areas okay so uh, when uh, kinza travels to rural areas because there are uh, restrictions that. about that because not in the western areas or the western countries they don't have so uh, basically kinza is saying uh, in islamabad uh, there it's there are no restrictions and she can wear uh, jeans and t-shirts as well but when she travels to uh, remote areas or rural areas then uh, th- those areas are pretty conservative uh, traditional uh, then she would wear an abaya and a hijab this is razia from gilgit baltistan i recently graduated from karakoram international university i had bachelor degree in business administration obviously like you said you are from gilgit baltistan uh, do you um, find any difference in people's attitudes towards uh, the way women dress in islamabad and in gilgit baltistan i think people in Gil- gilgit baltistan are more independent they have the right to choose whatever they want to wear it's not a big deal but in islamabad people used to cr- criticize each other that why they are wearing this and why they are wearing that how much pressure do you feel under um from from the community or the society in islamabad to dress uh, in in a certain way that the people find acceptable it all depends on the environment uh, where i am working or whom i am living have you um, uh, heard about what ha- what's recently happened to malala where she started studying at oxford university and reportedly she wore jeans and shirt and boots to the university and pakistani people are criticizing her for that do you, are you aware of that so what do you think about it Yeah I recently saw her picture on social media that people are criticizing her the way she dressed I think or uh, I feel it's her right whatever she want to wear it should not be a problem uh, but the actual thing is people should focus on positivity not negativity so dress should not be an issue My name is Aman Munir I am studying pharmacy from the Hamdard University And what are you wearing today Saman? I am wearing a um, gown and full full hijab and cover, I have covered myself face. Is this a choice you have made or is has it been imposed on you by your maybe family or your university? No, it's completely my choice and I have done on my own choice. Do you think in in Pakistan people judge women by what they wear? Yes. there is a you know pakistan people judge people uh, other people by their dresses and by their get ups what they wear but it is not i don't think that it is it's uh, define our personality it is our get up and everyone has different type of personality the one who's wearing hijab is not uh, necessary that she is good uh, good person or bad person it does not define what we are wearing and what we are so um if if our dress doesn't define who we are a uh, good person bad person then um why women uh, like yourself decide to you know wear hijabs and niqabs just uh, our choice and uh, we f- uh, feel safe to wear that not that we can say that we do it for the other people we do it for ourselves and i don't think that our other people have to judge us on that behalf okay so you just said uh, you, you wear a hijab a uh, jilbab and niqab because uh, it makes you feel safe yes. so uh, how, if you weren't wearing this what do you think uh, the problems that you would g- 
get from people that would make you feel unsafe. Say if you were dressed like me in shalwar kameez, not covered your uh, face, not covered your hair, not uh, wearing uh, an abaya, what would the society do to you that uh, would make you feel unsafe? Uh, they will look at, the, especially the boys, they will look at me with the bad eyes or with the bad views, but I don't think that uh, they can change myself. If I'm wearing or I'm hijab or I'm not wearing hijab, they will look at me the same. I've examined and I've, I've, I have experiences about that, that they have looked at me at the same, either I wear or either I'm not. So basically what you're saying is that men in Pakistan, it doesn't matter whether uh, you're wearing a hijab or you're not wearing a hijab, men will still look at you. Yes, they will definitely remain men. Men will be men. Thank you very much indeed to Power FM for helping us uh, get to hear those voices from Islamabad. You're listening to OS on the BBC. Let's finish the hour.